Hi there, this is Java Jim once again with First Line Equipment. I hope you're having a wonderful espresso day. And today I will be introducing to you a new digital E61 thermometer for the E61 group head. And you're probably wondering what this machine is here. This is the new VBME that's coming out in late 2020 uh, that has a VBM E61 group head. And we're going to show you how to simply add a digital thermometer uh, to the group head. But first, make sure the machine is off. Make sure your machine is unplugged. And make sure the group head is cold. Okay, if you have a lever, bring the lever up to release any water pressure that's in the group head. So you wanna make sure all that happens before you do this, because I don't want you to burn yourself. I don't want water splashing on you. And even though there's no electrical here, I don't want you to get electrocuted, okay? Uh, because you'll end up like me, no hair, okay? So uh, in the kit that we sell, we have an Allen key wrench. Uh, we have a little wrench here. We have our digital thermometer and we have two copper washers. The first step, take your Allen key wrench. Okay, for me, it's lefty Lucy. And just to let you know, I, this is really tight. I actually loosened it so I don't struggle because I do struggle sometimes. Take this out. And on this particular group head, there is a washer here. Okay, um, you can leave this in, you could take it out. I am going to leave this in. And then there are two washers here. And then I'm gonna take the digital thermometer. Whoop, one came out. And sometimes you'll maybe just use one just to get the alignment better. And this simply just screws in. Okay. Take our little wrench here, tighten it up. And then, now the panel just fell, it came off on me. You can turn the little dial in the front and you have your thermometer. And you can turn this on to monitor the group head. And on the VBME, the panels are, are, do come off. Uh, and I just touched it, so it came off my error. Uh, and that's it. And basically, uh, you can monitor the temperature at the group head because water's flowing to and from the group head to the heat exchanger or the coffee boiler uh, if on a double boiler machine. So you have a, a very good accuracy to see how much of a cooling flush you have to do on a heat exchanger uh, or on a dual boiler, uh, what I call a heating flush, because sometimes E61s on uh, dual boiler machines, they run a little on the cold side because the heat dissipates faster. But the, the designs are improving greatly in the last year, so uh, that's a big plus. So that's it. Check down the link below to purchase this nice new digital uh, thermometer for the E61 group head. If you have any questions, ask below. You can ask right on that page uh, where you can purchase it. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you'll see the button right down here. Give us me a thumbs up if you can, and just have a wonderful espresso day. Take care.